Social media can ruin people's lives horribly. Loyal patrons are rallying around their longtime Riverhead ice cream shop, owners blindsided by a fictitious social media post. We're thinking about strawberry rhubarb ice cream, not about the internet. Snowflake ice cream owners Stu Felcha and his wife, not social media savvy, had to ask their close-knit staff. What are the consequences of this? What's the significance? Someone on Facebook had posted a fourth-hand comment that a neighbor of a relative's friend said his son wasn't served at Snowflake because he voted for Trump. Blown out of my mind that someone would write something like that about us. We come from all different backgrounds, all different beliefs, so why would we impose that on anyone else? My first reaction was to just ignore it or go away. It grew, it grew very quickly. Stung by the false posting, employees and customers got involved. It's absolutely absurd that they wouldn't serve everybody here. Dozens of posts of support. Later, whoever made up the remarks removed them. And Snowflake, mom and pop business here since the 1950s, posted a big thank you. Facebook's internal community standards policy pledges its moderators will remove any inappropriate, inaccurate, or terroristic posts. Felcher thought it was wrong when a baker in Colorado refused to make a cake for a gay couple. He was equally upset that a Virginia restaurant refused to serve press secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders. He sympathizes with the other Red Hen restaurants that felt the repercussions. Snowflake wants July 4th to focus on red, white, and blueberries. From Riverhead, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.